The scourge of black lung among Appalachian miners has given West Virginia an unfortunate expertise. This inhalation lab is one of a handful in the U.S. that can measure how particles we breathe affect our health. On each puff, they're getting between 2 and 2.5 million particles. Hare works for Mark Olfert, an associate professor at WVU's medical school. When you look at someone that's vaping, this is a dense cloud. It's a, it's, it's a petroleum that's being aerosolized. It will cause harm, and the real question is how much harm is it going to cause? Olford exposed young mice to e-cigarette vapor for eight months, then looked at their blood vessels. An eight-month exposure is roughly 20 to 25 years in, in human terms. So if you take a middle school or high school student and they start vaping and they're unable to quit the habit, and so they vape until their late 30s and, and early 40s, what that shows is a two-and-a-half, three-fold increase in arterial stiffness. And stiff vessels is a hallmark of cardiovascular disease. The points you're making are that it's, it's, it's impacting a complex system known as the body, and yet the debate is all about the lungs, right? That's, that's how the whole debate's been framed. 